So if you have a look on YouTube, there's loads of reviews on the Phantom 22 pole. But are they any good after being used for a while? All the reviews are on brand new poles. So I bought myself a Phantom 22. I've been using it for nearly three months now. And I'm going to let you know, is it as good as they make out? So this is my pole. I've been using it for nearly three months now, so I've got to know it really well. Know what it feels like, I've been using it quite a lot. It's my everyday pole. But the first thing you notice about it is the clamps. I'm sure everybody knows uh, Steve from Exceed Innovations has designed these clamps, really nice clamps. Uh, they can be used for right-handed or left-handed. They're really easy to turn over. They're not uh, glued on, they're fitted on with a four mil Allen key. So all you need to do, stick the Allen key on, undo this bolt, and they come straight off. Uh, there's been no problem with them slipping, you can just tighten them up. If they do come a little bit loose, you can tighten them up so they don't spin on the pole. But you don't have to re-glue them on if they do come off. So there's no weight in there, no wasting time. The next thing that you notice about the clamp is the insert. Uh, inside there's a little red insert. Now this is made out of quite a soft plastic. The idea of that is the insert will wear and not the pole. So when you clamp it up, that will take up any slack that's, or any wear that's in the pole, any discrepancies that are in it, and it will wear the plastic rather than wear in the pole. So even if you have got a bit of wear on it, it will tighten up and it will still hold it really tight without it spinning. If you look at the clamp itself, there's a, a thumb screw on the right hand side that's actually shaped so when you've got it on it lines up in line with the pole that drops into place as you tighten it up and that makes sure it doesn't come undone when it's in position so it feels really nice to use it's a really nice pole to use uh, I've had people asking me how rigid it is so you can, as you can see uh, I've done a little test and it is slightly more rigid than the SLX 18 but not very much at all Weight wise, it's about five grams heavier for the, just the bare pole. Uh, width wise, it's about a couple of mil thinner. Although it's only a couple of mil, it does feel thinner to use in the hand. Uh, my fingers were aching when I was using the SLX, when I've used it all day. I've noticed with this pole that my fingers haven't been aching. Whether that's just in my imagination, I don't know. But uh, it did seem to, my hands did seem to stop aching when I stopped using the SLX 18. Before I bought the pole I had heard that there were a few problems with these coming loose. Like I said I've been using it for three months now and I can genuinely say that I've had no problem at all with these coming loose. The other problem that I'd heard was that they were jamming. When you had been using them for a while people were having to wash them regularly. Uh, and This was becoming a problem. Two or three times a day they were having to wash them otherwise even with it fully open they couldn't extend the pole. So I rang the window cleaning warehouse up and asked them about this and they said that it was a problem with some of the early poles they had but since then they've actually changed the carbon that they're using and it's no problem at all now. I've definitely not had a problem with this, I've just been using it the same as usual, my everyday pole and it's something that I haven't had a problem with at all. So if you've seen my pole setup video already, if you haven't, I'll put a link up to, to it up there. But you might know that I usually use an SLX18. So why have I ordered a 22? Well, normally an SLX18 or an 18 foot pole will do. But I've got a few jobs. I don't really want to get my SLX30 out. So I thought the extra few foot would be good. But I don't want to be using it as a 22 all the time. So when I ordered the pole, I ordered an extra end cap for it as well. So most of the time, I'll use it as an 18 foot pole, I'll slip the end cap on, and I'll keep the bottom section in the van. So if I did have to criticize this pole, originally I was gonna say the end bung, because it split within the first week, and wasn't much good, it almost worn out after three months. But they've sent me the new end bung, so I'm gonna try that. I've gotta drill it out a little bit more so I can use my tubeless kit in it. So I haven't put that on yet, but I'll get that done. Uh, and the other thing is, they don't do a swivel on it. Uh, I use the Gardner swivel. It's not a big problem. You can order a gooseneck from Gardner. It's just that you have to fit it on the Euro thread rather than having it on the quick release. But when I rang up the window cleaning warehouse, I asked them, 
are they going to produce a swivel for it? They said that that's something that they were talking about, but it will probably be towards the end of the year if they do release a swivel. So would I recommend you using that Phantom 22 pole? Yeah, they're really, really nice. They're nice and rigid. They're decent weight. They've got a nice feel to them. The clamps are really good. Hopefully, time will tell, the pole should last a bit longer with the uh, new clamps that are designed for it. It's a fantastic pole. Would I buy it instead of the Garner SLX22? It's a toss up. I like Gardner, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to stick with Gardner, stick with Gardner. But I'd give the Phantom a go if I were you. It's a really good pole, feels nice. I think Gardner better watch out. I think there's a new boy in town. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Also, if you'd subscribe to my channel, Squeaky Clean Dave, and when you subscribe, hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. YouTube will notify you every time I release a video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.